To start off, we have the Youth Best of Show Tank, and this kit shows great potential. Look at the amazing hardscape and plant layout. A densely planted tank with a great looking DIY background. Great planted tank with a wood centerpiece. Uh, the archway kind of gives it some depth. I uh, really enjoyed this aquascape. Look at the baby angel. I only got one thing to say to you on this one. Now here's the tank that took best of show and you can see they had a great plant selection in it and it as well as a great hardscape layout. It really gave it a lot of character over there on the right hand side and left some open space over there on the left. Now this being a garden of eater tank, you know there's going to be shrimp in there. The eaters know their shrimp. Now I don't know much about saltwater but it goes without saying that these fish are beautiful. Here's a tank with a really cool background and that wood in the middle has a lot of character. Looks like Ash Ketchum showed up and he brought Pikachu along with him and he entered in a Pokemon tank for the Aquarium Beautiful. Pika, pika! Here's a cool little marine tank and you can see those fish in the middle just clowning around. Now here's another planted tank from Leto High School and if you guys didn't know, that was my school. This was one of my favorite tanks. It was really well done. It's got a great carpet in there, and it's got the island of plants in the middle, uh, and those little red plants kind of look like palm trees just hanging out. This tank has a prehistoric feel to it. It's got some fossils along with a geode that really give it a nice old look. Here we got some Roman ruins, and there's even a statue in the middle of Bill Shields, one of our members at the Tampa Bay Aquarium Society. Interesting. Now this tank belonged to yours truly, and I went with kind of a swamp look. I got the guy up top in his boat, hunting for some alligator, uh, alligator down at the bottom of course, and then I got some neon tetras in there as well. Now this video only included tanks that got first place, but there were a lot of great entries in this competition. You can see at the Aquarium Beautiful competition there are a lot of different skill levels, including mine. You can tell I'm still kind of a beginner, which is absolutely fine. So don't be afraid to join in your local aquascape competition and have some fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And until next year, see you.